Hi YouTube, this is Miss Miss Natural. Come to you with a product review and a change of thought or whatever and what I think about products that I will be using for my natural hair. As you all know, in growing up, being African Americans, our parents used grease to press our hair to grease our scalp when they were scratching our scalp. Even with a lot of us, when um, when we became relaxed, they were still using grease to put our hair up in pigtails, do our curls, do our, you know, whatever. They were continuously using grease. And when we think back to that period, a lot of us, I would like to say probably about 90 to 99% of us had a nice grade of hair. The reason why I bring this up, and you all know it's either green or blue. It was either green or blue, so. And leave. Let's not forget about the leave. I call the cookie grease and smell just like cookies to me. But the reason why I bring this up is that uh, I think about a few months, about, the, about I say at least about maybe about a month and a half, maybe two months, I had some Indian hemp grease that I got to use on my boys and, and I've been using on my girls sometimes. And I got it at this African shop, and I think I've seen it in, you know, another beauty supply. But I got it out of there, and um, I haven't had it for a while. And I was, like I said, I was using it on my kids' heads sometimes, and most of my boys. And I don't know, one day I was had just after washing my hair, and I just, you know, went in the dress room, just put a little bit on my hair. And I got, like, probably about a dime size, size amount, working my hand, and just massaged it into my hair and, and did whatever style I did and just went on by my way. And I noticed, I said, well, you know, it ain't caused really no damage, so I guess it's okay. So, um, I had been months ago watched a video that African Export had did on Blue Magic Oregon or Herbal, Herbal Complex Leave-In Conditioner. And she was, you know, she had, was saying how she put it in her hair and she put her hair up in twists and then the great definition she has, you know, with her hair, there's no greasy buildup or whatever happened. So I was in the beauty supply um, over the weekend and I saw this in there for like think about two dollars something and I'm like, you know, I'm going to, you know, give it a try. So the first night I used it on my girl's head. And it turned out good. The next night, I did a conditioner wash and detangle my own hair. And I said, you know, I used it on my head to do these twists. Now, granted, normally when I do twists of this size on my hair, I use lock and twist gel. And with this, and, 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 I'm, and I'm not down in lock and twist gel. Because it is a good product. I've been using it the entire time I've been natural. Whenever I do cores or my two strand twists, um, it, it gives a good hold, but it does give this crunchy feeling to your hair, and it it gives this like um, may it get a little flaky sometimes. But you know it works good. If it, it you know. Other than that, I would always use this. Is the product what I would use. I've used another. Lock and twist, but mainly this is what I use. So I said, I'm, I'm going to just try this, and I did. So Sunday night, I I rubbed this into my head, and I put my two strand twist in. Went to bed, woke up the next morning, my hair just soft, still soft, and I mean, there's no crunch. Uh, my scalp had been kind of itchy in certain spots, and that's because in the morning I hadn't been drinking a lot of water, and it's time for hot oil treatment. So I used some Blue Magic, because I was on a Blue Magic trip, and it's not the green or the blue. I got the, uh, the Blue Magic Coconut Oil, because in my opinion, this smells better than the blue or the green. And I dabbed in the spots that were itching, and you know, it, it's been okay. So I guess what I'm saying, trying to say here, is that when I first went natural, I did research just like anyone, and it's crazy because this the this the hair that we're born with, and you gotta research how to take care of it. And you know, everyone was saying, including myself, uh, petroleum is bad, no grease, no. I mean, it's like no, 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 like it was kryptonite or something. 
And I'm like, okay, I had to, I, I just really, I just started to think like, hmm, well, if that was so bad, if it, you know, back then, I mean, our, our parents were using the water, uh, Greece, I mean, you were getting the, the bomb curls, the bomb presses. I mean, every, whether you were natural or relaxed, they were using these products, um, this grease. And now all of a sudden, I guess we've all gotten so high on the hog that we're like, no, no, we don't use it. We don't use it. So we've succumbed, you know, a lot of us to using uh, $15, $20 for. for Jars of product that's not even half the size of this jar. So I I go to say you know if you choose to pay that amount of money for for products like that and if it works good on your hair, by all means, is your hair that's what you do. But for me, I'm gonna I'm I'm renewing the products that I get for my hair and. I have been, you know, has called back on being a product junkie. I just started getting what I know I needed for my hair. But this is definitely going to be used in my hair on a regular basis, not daily, because I'm, I noticed that with with, uh, with this product, my hair stays moisturized. And I, I, I'm like, okay, I'm liking this because if I'm not having to use a product on a regular basis to keep my hair moisturized, that's a good thing. If I'm having to continue to moisturize my hair, uh, that's that's not too good. The product's not working with my hair. So I shouldn't be using it anyway. So I guess I just went on a all I was on a trip all Greece fanatic and I looked up and I found this. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, all of us have seen this on our grandparents, aunts, great aunts, dressers for years. And if you think you know what this is, yeah, this is Royal Crown hairdress. I got it out of um my Dollar General for two dollars. I think it was thirty-five cents. And and yes, I will be using this. I have I will be using this for my press. So, and, and not just for prints, but when I put my hair in braid, whatever I'm doing, yes, I'll be using this with. So, I will be using my blue mat. Yes, I'm on the tip of grease. Before we had all these different, these, these curly puddings, all these different stuff, we had grease and water. And yes, we did conditioner. We had our conditioner. We had, um, uh, what else? Yeah, and we, we did our, our hot oil treatment. Cause I remember my mama doing hot oil treatments on my head. I remember doing the, the, leave, the, the deep conditioner, and it was real using cholesterol. So we didn't have all this expensive, all this, this um, all this stuff, and we had our hair was the bomb. It was long, it was pretty, it was shiny. I mean, it, I mean, we had great hair. So why not use those same products now? Why not? So that's what I came on here to say. Um, just and I'm not saying this is what you have to do, but this is what I will be doing. So if you if you see me in my area and you, you smell a little scent of coconut or whatever, know that it's all be from the blue magic. So <laughs> thank you all for watching my video. If you you know you did watching my videos, please subscribe, comment down below. If you have a question, by all means, ask a question. But I will be um, doing a video in the next few days and I did this style I believe on Mother's Day on oh, you know when you're wearing your twigs you don't just have to wear you know in a few ways I have an up, uh, updo that I did that uh, I would like to pass on to you all to show you to show it to you all and I will be showing you all pictures or a video how my twists look when I get ready to unwrap them but I'm not sure I'm debating I want to go ahead and unravel them uh, in the next few days because I just cannot wait to see the definition uh, that that's going to be. So I will be showing you all that. I thank you all for listening. You all have a blessed day. Bye.